Okay, so this is the monolithic foundation is all pulled, set up, ready to go. Um, all our plumbing's in. We've gone in with backfilled all around and leveled that off and compacted the center of this thing. Uh, we were going to lay the vapor barrier and insulate today, uh, but we have a storm coming in over the weekend that's going to dump a lot of rain. It would have the vapor barrier would have held the moisture in there and caused some problems. So uh, we're going to wait till Monday to lay in the vapor barrier. Uh, then we're going to insulate it, put the wire down. Radiant heating guy is coming on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday the concrete, uh, I'm sorry, Thursday the concrete guy is coming in to pour the foundation. So uh, we're just about all set up the hem once we put the insulation and vapor barrier in there. But uh, a lot of work to the monolithic slabs. Um, I probably wouldn't do this this way again. I might actually recommend uh, doing a four foot foundation and insulating that and then pouring your slab separately. It might be uh, a little more costly in materials, um, but it will definitely be a little less labor intensive um, on the job. Um, although this does give you a uh, much stronger monolithic pour rather than a separate slab. So uh, That's where we're at. Uh, Friday afternoon, about 5.38, we're wrapping up for the weekend. Uh, actually, I'll be in tomorrow uh, getting this another rebar going inside of there. And hopefully we won't, we won't get more than a couple inches of rain. So. Um, we'll check back in next week as things move along. Alright, so we got the foundation system going in here. Uh, Monday, uh, September 8th. You can see we started, we got our vapor barrier going down and our styrofoam going on top of that. Um, electrician's coming in on top of that, he's running some conduits across. Um, so we have places to run our wire back to our utility space. Uh, we'll have the rest of this vapor barrier down and styrofoam today. Electrician will have his stuff down and we're going to put the wire on top uh, to prep for the radiant tubing to go down tomorrow. So uh, that's where we're at. Right, so here we are Tuesday, uh, September 9th, laying the PEX heating down. We have all our geo foam down and our wire on the floor. A breezy out here looks like it's going to rain on us. You can see what we did. We, uh, because of the outside perimeter, we actually shortened up the, the distance between our tubes uh, around the perimeter of the building. Add yeah, extra heat to the outside perimeter. Uh, we're starting to lay up this uh, end of the house and then we're going to continue down through the whole thing and hopefully have that done by tomorrow uh, noontime. So all the It's It's uh, Tim Dufilly, our HVAC guy. Uh, working hard. A couple of his guys over here. And, uh, that's the uh, radiant heating system getting installed, uh, getting ready to go to pour in the slab, which will be poured on uh, Thursday. So. Later. Uh, quarter of seven on Wednesday, September 10th. Uh, you can see what we got going on here. All of the geofoam has been laid, all the vapor barriers down. Uh, the radiant guys came in in the last day and a half, laid all that PEX tubing out. Uh, they actually bunched up around the edges and gave us extra tubing. Um, all these stakes you see, uh, the cement guys. Came in this afternoon, drove their stakes, shot their grades. Concrete's on its way. It's going to be here tomorrow morning at uh, 7:30, and this thing will be done pouring. Uh, electricians came in yesterday, ran some conduits with some future reference stuff. Plumbing stuff's all set. We're all sealed up, and uh, a lot of stuff happened in this room here between the geo lines, all the radiant PEX tube coming up the wall, and our water lines in the utility room. Uh, everything's all prepped. Uh, waiting to go, and like I said, concrete is going to be here 7:30 tomorrow morning, and uh, we'll shoot a little bit more of that as we go along. 7:30 Thursday morning, September 11th. First of the concrete going in the hall. Greeting guys here, pressurizing the lines, make sure if anybody pokes a hole in it, we know about beforehand. So, uh, stay tuned. So they're. Uh, See what they're doing here. Going all around the perimeter trenches. Concrete first. Uh, they're going in with a vibrator. Make sure we got good compaction all the way around the bottom. We have no air. Uh, we got 60 plus yards of concrete, which is a total of six trucks coming today. Got my guy on the job, along with the three guys from the finished company. Uh, we came in yesterday, staked this all out, and graded it all. Uh, HVAC guys, just make sure all my uh, PEX lines are pressurized so we know if we have any air leaks, we'll see it bubbling through the concrete. Um, 
So if people have any problems, but we want to make sure. So these guys are just going to keep going around the perimeter, filling all the perimeter of the slab in, and then coming back in over the top. And you see they get the outside perimeter, the forms all formed up. And they're down the back side over here, they're just about done filling up the exterior trenches around the building. And then coming to the middle and we'll be in good shape. And you can see they're making progress across the floor. Pouring it as they float it, we're going around, we're putting our anchor bolts in. And our corner straps, we get two of those on each outside corner. Anchor bolts that we keep put on center. So they're getting this roughed out. Go back to float it. This is four. And about a third of the way down to the top part of the slab. So they just about finished pouring the concrete. They're uh, running around. I jarvey it up, flatten it out. Getting my slope drains in my tree room. So we got a slope into the drain. He's working that now. I'll be mag on the edges. Uh, they're going to let this pop. They're going to hit it with a machine. And we get to go. So uh, five's just about done. We'll catch some of them on that with the machine. So. Alright, you guys are just uh, finishing the edges by hand. Use these uh, power trowel to finish this thing off. They're looking pretty good. Five's looking pretty nice. Uh, a few more hours before they're done. Uh, we're just going to keep working it until they burn this concrete nice and smooth. One of the nice things about this concrete comes from Cape Cod Ready Mix. Uh, it's got some recycled product in it. It's got 20% fly ash, which is uh, a waste from other from coal burning plants. So uh, we use some recycled stuff in our concrete, which just kind of adds to the green building aspect of the house. Also gives you a really nice finish and allows you to uh, stain this really well. The stains take really well to the fly ash. We'll see what it looks like when in the, uh, we're saying this thing later on. That's where we're at. All right, so I found it's 3:30 September 11th. Uh, foundation pour, slab has been all poured. Uh, we've been going around uh, with the hose, keeping this wet. And the purpose of keeping this wet is to slowly cure the concrete. Now uh, it's all burned and finished, so it's got a nice smooth finish on there. Uh, keeping it wet will slow the which will make it, uh, will actually make it stronger, it'll slow the, slow the drying and you'll have a much hotter concrete as a result of uh, keeping it wet uh, while it's drying. So we uh, let it dry up a little bit, go around with the hose, soak it down and we'll do this for the next couple of days to uh, make sure this concrete hardens at a, uh, cures at a slow rate uh, to get this as strong as possible. Uh, so tomorrow morning we'll be in here, we'll be stripping these forms off and uh, cleaning this job site up, uh, get ready to start putting sills on on Monday and our walls for our structural insulated panels will be coming here on Tuesday we have about five days of cure time before they, we actually start building on top of this so if we slow cure it right uh, with a little bit of water we should be good so we're going to wrap up this, uh, this portion of this slab foundation even though it's not completed we will do another segment on the slab insulation, the perimeter insulation and how we treat that slab, the edge of that slab to make sure that it's uh, fully insulated and how we do that detail as it ties into the building. Um, so uh, that's our monolithic pour. You can see we've been here wetting it down. Looks nice. Um, uh, we're going to be stripping it tomorrow. Uh, we won't be insulating it for a while. We're going to let it cure for a little bit. Um, we will be building on it before we actually finish the insulation around the perimeter. Um, but when we do start to insulate and how we treat the outside of that, we'll do another little uh, little segment on the perimeter insulation. So, uh, monolithic slab is done. One major step towards completion of the project. Uh, the, roof, the wall panels are actually coming in on Tuesday. Uh, once those are in, the walls will go up pretty quick. And uh, all this long prep work to get this to this point will uh, will happen pretty fast after this. So uh, stay tuned.